Alright, so welcome back and in this clip we would like to talk about the further attributes of the shading, color, incandescence and opacity. Well, first I would like to improve the graph of the opacity because it's not seem to be, you know, like a fire. It's again looking like a kind of a smoke being getting emitted from the, you know, the regular curve. So how are we going to address that? Well, under the opacity, we just need to tweak the graph and just take a look at that how I I'm giving a shape to this graph you know it will be like a pointed graph and all you can see over here don't worry about the kind of the you know points of the voxels we're gonna fix them up later and if we like to you know push the value of the or you can say the coordinate to the left side you're going to see that the fire will going to catch some soft amount of the smoke in the top side regions well if you wish to have that you you can also do that or a problem and you can also add some more you know few points to get the nice you know blending of the fire and if I would like to select this point or the coordinate if I like to move towards to the right hand side you can see that the fire density will going to get increased well I don't recommend that we need to have a lot of you know higher value of the curves you still can maintain you know this curve and it, it will be really very nice you know so with that the process so you may say the look and feel of the fire is almost done but now we also need to work upon the overall shading of the fire and with respect to the opacity we can also play around with the input bias let us say I can give it a value of 0.35 and that's I think little quite high value well first we we'll like to take the play blast and then we're going to decide okay so that will be pretty much fine and of course I would like to play with the value of the transparency as well and since we like to work on the display space and value seems to be you know quite okay you may could give it to 0.65 maximum okay and the color is not you know white doesn't suit to this so we like to you know dip it down and in case of the incandescence now you can see that the incandescence in input has been assigned to the temperature so now you can you know memorize the diffusion so the softness or you can say the Gaussian blur inside the temperature field we're going to distribute the colors in a very you know naturalistic way just like you, know, you can say the black body so here I first would like to you know construct the graph the color in Genesis graph well inside the interpolations we would like to give it to the spline and let's say again we'd like to go with the spline and it's not going to be you know like that much complicated it would be a simple straightforward graph and I can you know increase I can add some more you know white inside this and similarly to that one also that's pretty much okay so with that I think so this graph could be you know quite sufficient in creating a lot of you know interesting effects of the fire and that's pretty much okay and let's jump this value input bias to let's say 0.9 and that would be you know quite high and now if I would like to play the timeline you can see that you know there's definitely a lot of change inside our reactions earlier we used to have a kind of a smoky you know looking fluid and secondly we, we are running almost you can say not even half of the resolutions you know the final resolution will going to be somewhere on 150 so you know I would like to take a play blast for this and before I you know jump ahead I also would like to take down the value of input bias what if I like to go with 0.4 or maybe 0.3 I think the so 0.3 will going to be much better okay and the rest of the things will going to be determined only if in case we have got the play blast so that's very important and let's just take a look at the other attributes also now you have feel free to dive into the density velocity turbulence everything and I think so that most of the settings are quite promising we don't need to change them the turbulence is quite less so let's say we like to increase to the 0.25 okay and I think so with respect to the temperature which is a very important attribute no doubt we have a good scale the buoyancy is fine the dissipation is quite good and I think so everything is pretty much fine so it's time to increase the resolutions 
to let us say 150 and again I would like to take a pause and I would like to come back to you once the play blast is done alright so let me just gonna take this break and I'll get back to you alright so welcome back guys and here I would like to show you the play blast of the high resolution fluids that we've just got and now I can see that there's a lot of weight and gravity inside the simulations of the fire but I also do understand that we are totally missing the shading section so in terms of the shading the glow and you know all the properties of lights are not here we just have the the behavior and some slight look and feel so don't just worry about that we do have a dedicated you know module where we would like to take down the you know the rendering of this fire as well so don't worry about that till now you are just required to practice this stuff with respect to the you know fire and try to you know create this fire from other different sources like from particles from the object from the default emitters from the volumetric emitters and just you know try to create some you know your own best effects so let me just gonna close that up and this is the overall fire uh, final fire we have and the resolutions are also you know quite okay you may could also you know increase the base resolutions to let us say the 200 that won't be any problem so with that you're really gonna have a lot of you can say the you know high detailed you can say fire effects and so with that we finally conclude with the overall completion of the temperature module and in our next module that would going to be really very interesting as well as you know little challenging also we would like to create the simulations of uh, explosion effect and in that we would like to include all the four important you know content details of the fluid like the density velocity turbulence temperature and we are also going to introduce the new content detail that is called as the you know fuel which is extremely important for creating you know explosion kind of effects so let's just take a pause from this module and now let's get started with the next one